my name is Mary Kay Terrell. I am a software engineer at Fidelity Investments. When you join a career as a software engineer, you are joining a highly collaborative and vibrant environment where in a single day, I communicate and collaborate with project managers, systems analysts, and other engineers as we design and develop new applications or plan improvements to existing applications. As a software engineer, I am primarily responsible for the creation and testing of a piece of software. So I very often spend time researching practical solutions to a particular business need, writing the code to implement those solutions, reviewing the code of my peers, and writing automated test scripts to test any code that has been written. As a software engineer, I need to be able to develop an understanding of and explain complex problems and their corresponding solutions. And I think there is a misconception about software engineers, and that's the idea that all we do is put our headphones on, sit in a corner of a room, um, writing code all day. And, and you know, that's very often how it is portrayed on television, but that couldn't be further from the truth. When it comes to, to very complex problems, we very often solve them through pair programming. So I, I'm working alongside our, other engineers on a daily basis. As well as that, in a single light of code, there has very often been a much wider discussion about the need for that piece of code and the benefits that will bring to an end user. So I think the ability to be able to interface with your colleague, colleagues through both teamwork and communication results in a much more coherent product for an end user. My route to becoming a software engineer is fairly unconventional. I actually began my educational career doing a BA in History and Sociology in UCD with the eventual aim of becoming a secondary school teacher. It became apparent to me quite quickly that that wasn't a job that was going to be fulfilling to me personally. And part of the reason for that was because I had developed a technological itch. When I received the first generation iPod Touch, it was mesmerizing to me because it was the first piece of technology that I owned that had, you know, a graphical user interface, it had applications and icons and kind of all those things that we take for granted with technology today. So I really started to question how and why it did what it did. But when I was in secondary school, I didn't have any exposure to computer science. And so when it came around to my CAO, I wasn't confident in pursuing it. However, um, at the end of my undergraduate, I took a brave step and I applied to a Master of Computer Science Conversion course in UCD, which is a course that aims to equip non-computer science students with the skills that they need to begin a career as a software engineer. In my final semester of my Master's, I started having a look at graduate programs. Because I had come from a non-computer science background, I felt I needed a little bit more training. So when I began my research in the graduate programs, I came across Fidelity and their fantastic technology graduate program LEAP, which is a four month training program that combines classroom training with a real world project from a sponsor team within the organization. It was absolutely the training that I needed. And following on from the graduate program, I was placed on a project team within the organization, which I've been working on for the past two years. Fidelity have fantastic opportunities to, to work from home and have flexible working hours because I actually, I commute an hour and a half to work every day. So the, I was quite quickly presented with the opportunity to work from home when I joined and Fidelity already had the infra infrastructure in place to, to support us working from home. So the transition was, was a pretty easy process. We all see how fast technology moves and the incredible things that we can do with it now. I have the pleasure of learning new things all the time and I am constantly improving. When it comes to a new project, we are, I very often spend time trialing new technologies to see if that will fit a solution that we were trying to implement. I often get to work with older technologies, which gives you a newfound appreciation of the newer technologies, as you can see just how far technology has come and the learnings that people have taken from these older technologies.